sup boys uh i was told to make a video from angel explaining the fucking snarring and bullshit and how to get your earth strike shit and all that and whatnot okay so it, it's a big time sink it sucks ass uh it takes a long time but there's some ways you can min max here all right so this is the guy right here that gives you the actual quest Champions Battle Gear. There's your Earth Strike, right? Uh, it says you need 15 Scenarian Combat badges, 20 Scenarian Logistics badges, and 20 Scenarian Tactical badges, and one Mark of Scenarius. That's what you need. Okay, so you need all that, and then you need Exalted, and then you can get the Earth Strike. Okay, so that's the guy you talk to. How do you actually do this? Okay, let me just turn this in real quick. Okay, you come to this guy, there's the NPC right here, you talk to him, you get the field duty, okay, you get these papers, you hit continue, you have these papers in your inventory, okay, so when you're first going out there, you're going to accept that, and you're going to get off your mount and right click the papers, make sure that it says prepared, prepared field duty papers, okay, and then you mount up, and then this is the route you're going to take, okay? You're going to run from here. And you jump over this thing right like this. And then make sure you have you take this straight line. Make sure you have your riding gear on. You got to get your carrier on the stick. I got my shit boots with the mithril spurs on. And I got the enchant to fucking gloves, okay? You're going to need this. You got to be fast. You see all these guys running? You see the line they're taking? That, that's the line you take when you go back, okay? So you're going straight. Basically, you're, you're getting to this spot on the map right here. You'll see it on your map. It's the Alliance place. The Horde one's down here, okay? Make sure you avoid the mobs, blah, 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 blah. You get here. You see this guy right here? You hurry up and quickly talk to him. You turn it in. The quest is done, okay? I have to explain something. So... There's a big wasp that spawns, and you, you guys have to kill it with the NPCs and with everyone here. After you kill it, this guy becomes a blue check mark, and you can turn the papers into him like I just did, okay? So then the papers are signed. Signed. They're, first they were prepared, now they're signed field duty papers, okay? So now basically, you're running straight back, okay? You're taking that line, you're running straight. Oh, look at this hunter bot. Look at this guy. Christopher Eva. Okay. You've taken the straight line, you go straight back to Scenario and Hold, okay? Uh, you go to the same NPC. Here's the trick, though. Once you get here, you're going to quickly... You're going to turn it in, and you're going to grab any mission. So there's three type of missions, like I said, Logistic, Combat, and Tactical. So you're going to grab whichever one you want, since I'm doing Tactical right now. I'm going to grab the tactical one. Like that. Complete. After you complete, you grab another field duty. You hit accept. And you start running back. Okay? You run back fast. You try to get there as fast as possible. So now in my inventory, I have unsigned papers that, that I haven't signed. And then I, I got my tactical assignment that I can right click to open. And it will give me a scroll. This scroll will give me a quest and tell me what to do. Maybe it'll tell me to go talk to sh someone in the Hashi Hive or someone in the uh, in Hive Regal down there and shit. It depends, okay? So you get the envelope after you turn in the signed papers, and then in the envelope you get a scroll, which is your actual quest, okay? It's in Ro it's in Roman numerals, okay? Now we're back here. If you notice now. The bug is dead, but the NPC is not blue, okay? So this, this fucking roleplay happens all the time. So you can, instead of like having to come back and do the roleplay each time, you can come back and get two tasks before you have to do the roleplay again. So right now, I'm going to read the papers right away. Now the, pa now the papers are prepared in my inventory, Okay. And so now I'm I all I have to do is turn it into this guy. But here's the mob that spawns and now the RP is going to happen. The whole fight happens, okay? The thing is, you can AFK and not do the fight, 
But if this guy dies, you can't turn in your fucking papers. So you literally have to help and make sure this guy doesn't die. Usually there's a bunch of people here and like they'll just be killing it. But since no one's here, I'm gonna have to help and like try killing it, right? You just don't want that one NPC, this guy, Captain Black Anvil, you don't want him to die. He's the important one. So this whole RP is what you're, what we are trying to avoid. We want to min-max and get two, two missions before we have to do the fucking RP. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back, get one mission, come back and fucking do the RP. And then go back, get a mission, come back, do the RP. Go back, get a mission, right? So like... What you're trying to do is come here, kill it, go back, get a mission, and come back. And before the NP, before the roleplay starts, you can grab another mission right away. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. So the, my papers are, are signed and everything. I'm ready to go. Now we just gotta get this boss down. Uh, you can stack as many assignments as you want. So like for your quest for the airstrike, you guys need to get 20 logistical badges, right? You can stack as many logistical envelopes as you want. Like, you can fill up your whole inventory, right? After you fill up your inventory, you can right-click, and each one has a scroll in it. So you can loot one scroll, but s since I already have one of these in my inventory, I can't loot the scroll. I can keep the envelope, though. The envelope's still here, right? Here's the scroll in the envelope, and then here's the scroll in my inventory. I can't loot this one because I already have one. As soon as I complete this one... I can go ahead and loot this one. So you can expedite the process by getting whatever materials you need to turn in the quest times two. So that way you accept this quest, this scroll, you turn in the quest, and then you get this scroll from the envelope, you accept the quest, and then you turn it in right away. Okay? So that's what you're trying you're just trying to min-max. So you can get some of the logistic quests cost a lot of gold. I'm talking like hundreds of gold, hundreds and hundreds of gold. So what you want to do is, you want to make sure that you, you spam this run back and forth enough times to fill up your inventory so you can gather the easy ones. Some are like, okay, so he dies, you want to quickly mount, okay? Mount, he's blue, talk to him, turn the quest in, now you're running, okay? You're taking the perfect line. The, the, the papers are signed, now you're running back as fast as you possibly can. Do not get, like, dismounted or anything. You have to pay attention here. This is the only time you have to pay attention. You just run here. There's going to be Horde doing their quest, blah, blah, blah. It's fine. As soon as you see this, you just keep on running, okay? This is where you have to be fast. So, like, in my head already, I already know that I need the tactical missions. So, I'm going to hurry up and quickly just ex complete, the mi complete the paper mission and accept the tactical assignment and hurry up and get another paper, okay? So watch. There's also a shortcut. You can like you can go straight, or you can kind of like kind of go up here, and you can cut through. And then you talk to him, complete the field duty. I got my tactical mission. Talk to him again, get the field duty, and you're back on your way. Okay. So now I have the unsigned papers in my in my inventory. You jump there. You follow this fucking line. Oh my god, scared mount. You take this fucking line. All right. Hopefully like the horde don't fuck with you. You stop for nothing, okay? So now, there's one thing to note. The papers in your inventory are unsigned, okay? You have to sign these before you, uh, before you can accept your quest. Before you can accept the quest again, okay? So what you're going to do is, as soon as you get there, you're going to dismount and just spam right-click on your mission, on your unsigned papers, and you're going to talk to him again right away. You're coming, you're coming, you're coming. You talk, you dismount, read the papers, talk to him, complete the quest. Boom. Now you just have an unsigned, you have signed papers again. Now I didn't have to watch the fucking RP. Like I didn't have to sit there and watch the RP. Now I can just run back and I can grab another tactical mission. And I'm going to stack my whole fucking inventory with, with like tactical missions until I get the easy ones, which is like, Oh, just go talk to this guy in the cave and you're done, right? So that's that that's the way to like expedite this whole process. So this is what the logistics bags badges look like. I got 20 for my quest. I got three extra. These this is what the tactical one looks like. It's kind of yellow like this. I need 17 out of 11. And then uh, there's oh right here the the combat badges. 
The combat badges, you have to kill like 30 mobs and shit, right? And you get one badge, okay? So look, now I have my papers. I turn in the quest. Complete. I get my tactical thing. I get another field duty right away. And I run back, okay? This time, when you run back, you're gonna have to do the RP. Mic off. Mic on. You can only get the mission uh, twice, and then the guy disappears, and you have to fucking do the RP again. So the min-maxing here is you're getting two missions for the price of one. And you want to stack all the easy ones like I have in your inventory, even the envelopes. You can right-click them. This one, see, I don't have tactical briefing three, right? So I just hit OK, and I, loot the, I get the scroll. And I right click, I can start the quest. It says Earthen Templar. This means I have to go back and kill like the, I have to summon the fucking Templars. I don't want this. I'm just going to take that scroll and I'm just going to throw it away. Because fuck that. I'll right click this one. This one's another scroll I already have so that, so I know it's an easy one. So I'm just going to put that one down here. This other one I open, I already have. So it's probably an easy one. I'm going to save that one so I can do that one as well. And now, you have to wait for the RP to happen again. Uh, after the RP is done, you talk to the NPC. You got to make sure you sign your papers though. See how there's a cooldown? You have to make sure you dismount and sign your papers before you talk to the NPC. It's the most important part. After the RP is done, you know that you have a chance to run back and get two. Right? So after you get two, you have to come back and do the RP. So that's the trick with that, okay? Uh, what else? The quest for me looks like this. I only need Revered. It's complete. Oh yeah, the Mark of Remulos, okay. So, Scenario Logistics Badge, 20 out of 20, and 50 out of 15, okay. So... After you complete, after you complete a task, like a tactical assignment, or if you complete like a killing quest, whatever, you turn it in to Scenario and Hold, right? After you turn it into Scenario and Hold, you're always going to get back another assignment, okay? You're always going to get another assignment back, and it's going to be, it's going to say follow-up assignment. Oh, right here, I have one. It says follow-up tactical assignment. So this means I completed an assignment. And now I got a follow-up one. This is special because in these follow-up missions, there's you have an R you have an RNG chance to get a certain scroll. I have it in my inventory, this one right here. So I got this from a tactical one from a from a follow-up, okay? And you can only get this from a follow-up. So which means you have to do a tactical assignment and then you get a follow-up assignment and in that follow-up assignment you might get this, okay? So what this quest does is it gives you a mark of Cenaris, okay? So none of the other quests do this, only this one, the fifth one. And you have to go kill the four dukes or some shit and it'll give me a mark of Cenaris. I think this is useful for like the... I don't know if you need a mark of... Yeah, you see? So, like, for your guys' Earth Strike, you need the 15 combat badges, which is the 15 quest, and then the 20 logistics quest, and then the 20 tactical badges, which I'm farming now, right? After you do that, you when you're doing your tactical uh, missions, you have to make sure in the follow-up you get this fifth one. Because this fifth one will give you the Mark of Cenaris. The Mark of Cenaris is required to complete this quest for you guys. Why can't I talk to him? I think my game's dying. But, it, okay, so anyways, like, for me, I need the fucking, uh, the mark of Remulos. So I have another follow-up quest from a logistics quest that gives me that, right? So for you warriors and rogues in the melee, I can't talk to him. But you guys need the mark of Cenaris, and you have to make sure that you get this one, the tactical task briefing five and this can only come from a follow-up tactical assignment and within this you get the mark of Cenaris and then 
you can use that to complete your quest and get your earth strike blah 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 alrighty it was fun boys